not not knocking on <laughs> hell's door hell why would we be knocking on hell's door well you already know the story of anana and the story of venus she turned around and now she is conjunct the sun and we are knocking on hell's door we are deciding to go to the hell within the shadow within ourself and yeah so what do i mean by hell what do i actually mean by hell well the dictionary definition of hell is a place or a state of punishment after death so that's obviously not what i mean i'm not saying that we should actually die no this is always this is just symbolically we are going with the venus retrograde and venus is conjunct the sun on January 8th, 2022, and that is the time that we are going to be knocking on Hell's door and saying, hey, let us in. We want to see our sister. We want to see our shadow self. So that's why we're going within. And, uh, okay, so <laughs> another definition of Hell is any place of torment or misery. And that's what I mean by hell, is a place of torment and misery. I'm knocking on the door and saying, let me in to my own inner place of torment and misery, which, trust me, I have an inner place of torment and misery. And it's not a place that I want to show anyone. It's a place that I want to hide, you know? I don't want to show it to the world. But um, I'm willing to, you know, for the healing of the collective and... You don't have to do all that. All that I'm saying for you is that there is this really cool Venus ritual that we can do as we follow Venus during this next 18-month cycle. And Venus will arise as the morning star at the end of January. And I have two little kittens playing back here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Venus is... She went, she finished her evening star phase and now she is moving into her morning star phase. And during her morning star phase, she will conjunct the moon eight times. And these are eight gates that we are going to go through ritualistically, which means at a set time. And the time is when Venus conjuncts the moon and symbolically, because that we are symbolically going to embody these things and that's what I'm doing. I am here as a Nana and all in my cocky fresh, my makeup all done, glammed out hair all done, everything and saying I'm willing to go within and I'm willing to show my shadow side and we'll see where this goes because this is really, if you know the hero's journey I am the fool, and I don't know really what I'm doing. I've done one full Venus cycle, one full 18-month cycle on my own, and um, now I'm going to do it with everyone and showing everyone and hopefully teaching and inspiring. You know, you, you don't have to do this exactly like me, but you can do it in your own way too. And you don't have to do it with Venus either. You can find your own way to do it if you want. And, or whatever, you know? Maybe it just inspires you to go out and do something that you were afraid to do before. And now you find yourself, you know, in a better place than you thought that you would be. Something like that, you know? Just that would be enough. So that's another reason why I want to do this. Yeah. I am new and I am a fool on this journey. I really, I'm not an expert. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not saying exactly. I wouldn't say follow me at this point in my journey, but I did talk to someone and she she reminded me that the, the I talked to the lady who initially got me to go on the journey and she said, it's eight gates. It's eight gates that we go through. And I think that that is beautiful. So the eight gates that we are going to go through on this journey, we will go through the gate of the crown on February 27th. And on the day of the crown, I will take off my violet part of my makeup, no more violet, and I will not do my hair. My hair will come down. It'll just be how it is. And I'm going to relinquish my ring. My crown, my crown ring. 
And also, I will be doing a video talking about the crown. Crown is spirituality, and I will be talking about the dark side and the light side of our crown and what we can do about that. This And during this journey, you know, if you are materialistic, then you might want to relinquish something every single time. That way, you know, you, you know that you can do without these things. That's what it's about. Um, if you're not materialistic at all, you might just want to look at the spiritual side of this journey. And, and then the second gate will be March 28th, 2022. And that is the gate of the third eye. And for this, uh, for this gate, I will be relinquishing my earrings and stones that I keep, sapphires that I keep in my bra. I will be relinquishing my sapphire because this helps my third eye vision. And so I keep my sapphires close. And then for the third gate, it'll be April 27th, 2022. And that is the gate of the throat. And I will be relinquishing my jewels that I keep. That my crystals, quartz crystals that I keep in my <laughs> bra. So I'll be relinquishing those for the throat. And then for the fourth gate, that is the gate of the heart. And for the gate of the heart, I will be relinquishing because have you ever heard she wears her heart on her sleeve? Well, I'll be relinquishing my bracelets. And this bracelet is actually, this one's the shiny, pretty one, but this one's the one that means more to me. It reminds me, it's jade, and it reminds me, you know, to follow my heart. And I will be relinquishing my heart power. And then... On the fifth gate, June 26th, 2022, that is the gate of the solar, solar plexus. And I will be releasing my, I keep, you know, for protection, I keep these plates in my raw too. So I will be relinquishing my protection plates. And then for the sixth gate, that will be July 26th, 2022, and that is the sacral. And for my sacral, you're probably wondering, when am I going to relinquish my necklace? Well, this is my sacral because I keep, this is my rose quartz, and I keep my rose oils within it. And it is my sacral necklace. So, that will be what I relinquish for my sacral. And... For my root, I will be relinquishing my bra and I will be wearing not my dress. I'll be wearing rags. <laughs> I'm not going to go naked. But yeah, my face will be because for each one, I will do less makeup. So for my crown, the violet goes. For, for the third eye, the indigo goes. For the throat, the blue goes for the heart the green for the solar the yellow for the sacral the orange and for the root the red and for the root well there won't be no more makeup and that is the point of the journey where we will have death by intent and at that point we will go into our shadow self fully and oh kill the outer self that i am now you know i will be a whole different person at the end of this journey i already am a whole different person but yeah so and then we will then go through the gates again we will go from the root all the way up and we will get everything back we will get our clothes back and then we will get our necklace back and then we will get our protection back and then we will get our bracelets back and then we will get our jewels back and we'll get our earrings back and we'll get our crown back and our beautiful hair and we will be hopefully a better person and have a deeper understanding of who we are but who knows because here I am I'm a fool and I'm in my full cocky fresh and let's see what happened you know one last thing that I want to say is is in the last video as Venus went retrograde, 
we discussed who we were going to take with us and we were going to prepare for going into our hell, into our shadow place. So, and Inanna, in the story, she had her maidservant, a beloved maidservant and best friend to prepare a plan in place for in case she gets stuck in this place of torment in hell, in case she gets stuck. And so I asked you, who is going to be your emissary? Who's going to be your best friend that will go to the gods and plead on your behalf for you to come up out of hell? And I encouraged people that it doesn't have to be another person. It could be a part of yourself. So in this video, I would like to announce that the part, the part of myself that I am going to have as my emissary is my what I call my chief spiritual officer. So the part of myself that is in charge of my spirituality, who is also my best friend, and I talk to this part of myself daily, I believe that we have many parts to ourselves, and I believe that we all have a minimum of 12, and then from that 12, there's subcategories. But not all of us, but <laughs> we all have a minimum of 12. And um, my chief spiritual officer, and everyone has a chief, a spiritual side, and my spiritual side, my 12th house in my chart is a Gemini. So she's a Gemini, and I do believe that she will speak well on my behalf. I trust her, and so that's who is going to be the emissary on my behalf and who will plead for me to come up out of hell in this journey is my chief spiritual officer. And I've tried to embody her a little bit in this part of the video for you guys. So thank you. And I'm so excited to go on this journey yes. with you. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this journey. And I hope that you do go on it with me. And I hope that you like it too. So be blessed and love and light for everyone.